Hello boys and girls. This week in art, we are learning about the illustrator, Angie Wazalar. And she has a little obsession with cats and we're going to be watching a video that is a book that she illustrated, which means she created the pictures for this book. And it's all about different artists and their different ways that they create art. And it's all dealing with cats as the main subject with these different styles of art. And so we are going to look at her artwork and create, create our own cat-inspired winter artwork. So we're going to start with a piece of paper, and I'm going to use crayons. You can use markers if you want to, but I like to start with crayon first and then go with marker over on top. So we're going to start creating our cat by creating the scarf first. That's going to be a long rectangle towards the top of the paper. And on top of the scarf, we're going to make like an upside down U or an arch shape and that's going to be the cat's head and underneath the scarf we're going to make a big long U and that's the cat's body with two little U's in the center towards the bottom of the cat's body for the arms and a big long U for the tail. On top of the cat's head we're going to put two triangles for the cat's ears and two little triangles inside the big triangles for the inside of the ears. Two circles for the eyes, a little oval for the nose, and I'm going to color in the oval, a little line that's a straight line, and a curve line for the smile. Let's add some whiskers to the sides of our cat and let's fill in the pupils for our cat. So two circles colored in for the eyes. So, so far we have a good start for our kitty cat inspired by Angie Razzalar. I'm doing two triangles for the side of the scarf and then I'm doing some long lines inside the scarf and you don't have to do long lines. These are just if you want stripes on your scarf, but if you want to make a different pattern on your scarf, you are welcome to do a different pattern. Right, I'm doing the ground line for to show that the cat is sitting on the ground. And now I'm creating some little circles with my white crayon. And that is going to, I know we can't see it yet, but when I take the blue marker and apply it on top of the white circles, it's going to look like snow. So if you have a white crayon, you are welcome to do this. If you don't have a white crayon, then you can just draw some circles and then when you color over it, make sure that you're going around those circles so that you don't color inside and take away the white snowy um, snowflakes that are falling. I forgot to finish the stripes on the scarf so if you're doing stripes then you can also make some stripes on your scarf but remember you can decorate your scarf any way that you want. Next I'm going to create some patterns on my cat and you can create any patterns that you want. You can do patches, you can do circles, ovals. I'm doing kind of like these triangles and it's kind of like a zigzag line going back and forth really close together and getting smaller and smaller at the top so it looks like a triangle. And I'm going to do the same thing for the tail. More like uh, rectangles rather than triangles that are going all the way across. And however, whatever colors you want to use to color in your cat, you're more than welcome to do that. 
make sure that you color it in completely, making sure that there's no white spaces left behind. So I want my cat to be orange and white. You are welcome to decorate your cat using any materials that you want, any way that you want to use them. If you don't want to make like a realistic color cat, you can do a purple cat, you can do a pink cat, however you want. And of course, you're welcome to add more details like a hat or a bow, however you want to do that to add details to your artwork. So I started out with crayon and now I'm using marker to go on top. Marker goes nicely on top of crayons. Make sure that you fill it all the way in. With the white, it's kind of hard to see where exactly you placed it. So you can see that I made a little mistake and didn't completely fill in that white patch next to the cat's eye, but that's okay. Sometimes we make mistakes and we work with them. And now I'm going in and filling in all the other details. I'm adding a pattern to the scarf. I'm adding more details to my cat. I added some eyelashes and then I went over with a black crayon to make the stripes or the pattern on the cat's fur a little bit more obvious. And I colored in the background and I added some little lumpy snow on the ground. So you are welcome to decorate your cat any way that you want, making it fun and unique and interesting to you. So here is our project, boys and girls. I cannot wait to see all your wonderful Angie Rosellar inspired cat winter projects. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy creating this artwork.